Right, so this is a GCSE chemistry question where you have to explain why the speed or rate of a reaction and the masses change. Um, don't be tempted to avoid reading all the information that's given to you because that will help you with the following questions. So, for example, they give you the word equation, so you don't need to think about what reaction is happening. And they also provide you with a diagram of the apparatus, as well as helpful hints as to what you would see if the, when the reaction is happening. So the very first question asks you to name the apparatus that could be used to measure out 100 centimetres cubed of dilute hydrochloric acid. The only real answer you could be giving there is a measuring cylinder. Remember that the narrower vessel, the more accurate. So do not say pieces of equipment like beaker, conical flask, or even worse, a measuring jug. For question B, this one asks you to explain why there's a loss in mass of the flask and the contents. In this reaction, hydrogen gas is produced, as you can already tell from the word equation that they've given you there. Uh, if the mass has gone down, it's because some of the gas must have escaped, where you can see in, also in the diagram they give you a clue by saying loose plug of cotton wool, as you may be aware that cotton wool allows gases to pass through it. So they're the two maps that you need to mention for that. For the next question, it's, a, it's referring to the graph, which is here. So it says, the graph shows that the rate of reaction slows as the reaction takes place. It explains in terms of particles why the rate of reaction between magnesium ribbon and dilute hydrochloric acid slows as the reaction takes place. So this one's a bit more in-depth. So this is requiring three marks. So at the start of the, the practical, all the particles are reactant, so the collisions are going to be frequent. For the first mark, you need to mention that it shows that the rate of reaction slows as the reaction takes place. It asks you to explain in terms of particles why the rate of reaction between magnesium ribbon and dilute hydrochloric acid slows as the reaction takes place. So at the start, all the particles are reactants, so the collisions are frequent. But for the first mark, you need to mention that there are fewer reactants. For the second mark, you then have to mention, as a result of there being fewer reactants, there's going to be fewer collisions. And then for the third and final mark, because there's fewer reactants which are now colliding less frequently, that's the last thing you need to mention. Uh, for the next question, the experiment was repeated using acid as a higher temperature. All of the conditions were kept the same. State the effect of the higher temperature and the mass loss after two minutes. This is just worth one mark. So all you need to do is identify that the higher temperature will make the reaction go faster. But then how can you know that is through the mass loss increasing or being higher? For the final question, it's asking you, the original experiment was created using the same mass of magnesium powder instead of the magnesium ribbon. All of the conditions were the same. It's asking you to sketch on the graph in figure seven, so this diagram here, uh, the line you'd expect for this experiment. So it's worth two marks. The first mark, you need to make sure that because the reaction is faster, it's going to be to the left side of the original line, and it's also going to be steeper, so it needs to look like this. For the second part of the mark, um, because it's the same mass of magnesium that you're using, the line should end at the very same height. So you need to make sure it ends at the same height as the original line did.